Ladies and gentlemen, the trainer has been called to the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the injury, Ms. Diachenko couldn't continue to play, has to retire from this match. Match won by Williams. Six love, two love, retirement. Serena, not the match you were expecting from Vitalia, who looks up to you. What were the words you exchanged at the net with her? Well, um, she's obviously someone that's been playing on the tour for a while, and I told her I was proud of her for even coming out and, and making this effort, knowing that she was injured before she got out here. So um, it's, it, that's a great effort, and you know, hopefully we'll be able to play again soon. And can you describe what it was like for you and the reception you got when you stepped yeah. out onto Ash tonight? Yeah, no, it's been. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, thank you so much. It's been really amazing. I can feel the support and the love on, on my journey and this milestone that I'm, you know, trying to take one match at a time. So I love you and I appreciate all the support. So thank you so much. It's an incredible journey. You're going for so much, so much at stake. In Cincinnati, you said you couldn't wait for it to get started. Win, lose, or draw, you were ready. So how good does it feel to finally get the US Open started? It feels so good. I'm so ready. Whatever happens, I'm here. I'm at home where it all began in 1999. So um, this is incredible for me to still be here and to be playing well. So it feels great. Serena, what did you think of the new structure? How was the atmosphere compared to previous years now that we're going to have a roof next year? Yeah, it feels really intimate. Um, we'll see how that is in day matches. <laughs> intimate, that's interesting. Mike Tirico said that earlier, even though... It's a little bit. It, it makes everyone feel like a, I don't know, like a, a dome, so it's going to be really nice. I had the same feeling, even though 20, 24,000 people are in here. It's huge, but you feel a little bit more like an indoor arena. Now, looking ahead for your, with your tennis, what do you need to do to be successful once again and win your seventh U.S. Open? Well, um, honestly, if I can just stay relaxed and you know, just stay in the points and stay calm, um, that's all I need to do and just stay happy out here. And I, I have to look at it as I have nothing to lose, and that's kind of how I enter this tournament. 